Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today presenting to you all my updated foundation routine and this is the before and after of my foundation. So let's get started and for me step 1 is always a lip balm. I'm never moving on without applying my lip balm. Step 2, it's really really important to use a moisturizer that suits your skin type. For me Cetaphil works best. So just applying this all over my face and my neck. Step 3. If you are aware of primer but not really sure of what it does, then I'll tell you. Don't worry. It basically seals pores, softens skin, helps on easy application of makeup and also helps it to stay longer. And the best one is that it can be used on any skin type. So I'm applying it on my T-zone and moving on to step 4. For, that is correcting and this step is completely optional for those who don't need it but for me this step is really really important as it cancels out any darkness on my problem areas so I'm applying this onto my dark circles and around my mouth step 5 the ultimate base to any makeup is your foundation Choosing the right shade and a well blended foundation is a key to flawless looking face. So I'm just picking two pumps of my L'Oreal infallible foundation on my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and then I'm gonna spread it randomly all over my cheek and around and we'll start blending it in circular buffing motions. Picking some more and applying it on my forehead and neck and will keep blending till I see no harsh lines. Step 6. Highlighting and contouring. If it's a casual look, you can skip all of this but if you want to further define your face and for a full coverage, go ahead by highlighting the center of your face and contouring the sides. To highlight, I'm first going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Flare Clear and going to apply this onto my under eye area in a triangle shape onto the bridge of my nose and center of my forehead, chin around my mouth under the hollows of my cheekbones. To balance out some on my neck, onto my collarbone, following the shape and then to contour, I'm gonna use two to three shades darker foundation and we'll be applying this onto the hollows of my cheekbones like starting from my hairline or the diagonal of my ear and gonna stop where the center of my eyeball is. Also applying the same onto the sides of my nose, on the lower of my lip, jawline, Colors of my collarbone, like I'm gonna squeeze myself and apply in there. If I'm wearing a broader neck, I will go further, but it's like you know, just up till here. I'm also gonna apply this to my hairline area and of course my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to start blending everything out and starting with the highlighted area on my chin and also I'm using the same Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. All the highlighted area that I'm blending will be outwards, that is towards my contour.
and now I'm gonna start blending out the contour and yes with that same brush but while blending my contour I'm gonna concentrate on that particular area that's why we are contouring right Now for my collarbone area, I'm going to put on super speed mode but I'm just following the exact same steps. Now that we're done with all the blending, I'm going to move on to step 7 which is setting your makeup. And I'm totally in love with the cooking or baking method these days. It actually refers to letting powder sit on the highlighted areas on your face for like 4 to 5 minutes which allows the heat from your face to set your base foundation and concealer and then dusting it off your face leaving you with creaseless flawless finish. So I'm doing the exact same thing applying a hell lot of powder on my highlighted areas letting it sit there for like 4 to 5 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to set my contour with a darker powder product. Now what happens is when I apply my powder bronzer, the excessive powder of the highlighted areas at the end help create a transition effect which is what we want. So I'm just applying my bronzer wherever I have applied my contour. Of course, using a smaller brush for my nose and under my lower lip for the perfect pout. Now it's time to dust off all the excessive powder and this will at the same time help me buff out everything. Step 8. More highlighting and blushing. Yes! Now I'm gonna use my Sigma in the Nightlife highlighter and gonna dot it on the highest points of my cheekbones, little on the bridge of my nose and its tip, Cupid's bow and chin. I'm gonna use my fingers to pat it and spread it. After applying any cream product, it's really important to set it with a powder product and so I'm using Mamari Luminizer on the highlighted areas. And this is called the power of editing. I have done my eyebrows and just a little bit, you know. Now I'm gonna blush blush with a corally blush which goes right on the apples of my cheeks. And last but not the least, step 9 which is makeup setting spray and I'm using my MAC Fix Plus to set everything in place and for that dewy looking skin. Especially when you're doing the baking method, don't skip this step. And that's it. This is pretty much my updated foundation routine. This is what I do for special occasions. I hope I helped you all in some or the other way. Please don't forget to give it a like, do comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!